Welcome back to another episode of your Digital Hustle News. As always, I'm Wade Teamer. The United States government is set to release a government-wide crypto strategy in the coming weeks. This news comes out only days after the United States released its report on central bank digital currencies. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the report and see what the United States digital strategy is going to be. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys about Vault. After the recent Binance Smart Chain integration, they've really stepped up their performance and added a ton of new assets that we can now build passive wealth with, including XRP, Quant, and Polygon. Our assets are also secured by BitGo, one of the largest custodial solutions in the world. Use the link below and you can get extra interest in the form of kickbacks every quarter by using the code DHN2022. Coming weeks, President Joe Biden is going to have a crypto related executive order hit his desk. According to reports, the administration is preparing to release an initial government wide strategy on digital assets. The strategy is being drafted as an executive order and could go into effect as soon as next month. The directive will detail economic, regulatory, and national security challenges. It will also direct federal agencies to provide assessments for the sector by the second half of 2022. Now, really quick, I want to remind you guys of when this happened before. In 2017, President Donald Trump put in Order 13772, which established core principles for regulating the United States financial system. This is also an order that, pay close attention to this date, Biden would revoke on February 24th of last year. Again, this executive order would have outlined principles that would define the new financial system until they got revoked. Now, almost a full calendar year later, Biden is getting ready to hit the ground with his own version of this order. The Financial Oversight Council is going to be one of the federal entities that will provide results on the systemic impacts of digital assets and the illicit use of cryptocurrencies. Now, it's three things I want to point out here. One about this Financial Oversight Council. All this is set to come out within a few weeks. Markets are in the red right now, so obviously recovery is also going to take about a few weeks. Judging from what we have seen in this market before, recoveries tend to come with some bullish news to help get things moving along. So let's just say that their findings indicate nothing but good things across the board. The systemic impact of cryptocurrencies would benefit us greatly and that cryptocurrencies are not actually used for illicit activities. Something like this could easily flip sentiment. Now, next, I want to take you back to our Agenda 2022 episode and remind you guys that this is already on the agenda. Our G20 report told us that in 2022, the next stage of work would compromise not only a further analysis, but the development of specific proposals for material improvements or underlying systems and arrangements. Underlying systems and arrangements being ISO 222. We know the transition is upon us, and this is, like I said, serving as the underlying system that is under development. So, with the United States entering this conversation at the time that they are entering it, guys, it means that the pace of things is definitely starting to pick up. Now, before we go, we have to take a look at the Fed's new report on CBDCs titled Money and Payments, the U.S. Dollar in the Age of Digital Transformation. Very telling. Now, I'll tell you up front, it's not a bad 40-pager. It's not a bad read at all. It gives you the history of the dollar, how it has evolved, what challenges it's facing as we push towards digitization, and then how a CBDC could ultimately address these concerns. They also go into how the CBDC would be structured and of course, when I read that particular section, it truly sounded oddly similar to a particular patent that we were just discussing a few weeks back. But then they get into some of the potential risk of a CBDC. One of those risks were changes to the current financial market structure. 
Now, this, this section was interesting. In essence, they describe a scenario where an interest-bearing CBDC would overly entice market participants into abandoning the dollar even sooner, so they know it's happening already. It would also have an effect on low-risk assets, money market, mutual funds, treasury bills, and other short-term instruments, and could potentially reduce credit availability or raise the cost for businesses and governments. Now, this showed me that they know what the real world effect is going to be once they go from the old fiat system to the new digital fiat system. Now, after this, they go to talk about the security measures and the need for it to be built on a private system, which honestly has me thinking about privacy coins more recently. But even more juicy details can be found towards the end of the report. I present to you Appendix A, Federal Reserve's research on the entire digital currency spectrum. This section detailed their entire approach, starting with the tech side. They blatantly state that they are experimenting with a number of experiments related to digital currencies, including the hypothetical CBDC, a CBDC that could, in theory, leverage existing technologies and systems, or be designed in a way that it could leverage newer technologies such as blockchain technology. Specifically, the Federal Reserve Bank in Boston and MIT are working on that one. Now, they are also considering the use of distributed ledger technologies for wholesale CBDC payments. The Federal Reserve Board's tech lab has been experimenting on how DLT can be used for interbank settlement. We already know Stellar and Ripple are doing that right now in North America. Lastly, they want to advance thinking on security measures, programmable money, interoperability, and standards. Interoperability, guys. Overall, we see the landscape. The chess pieces are being put in play, and being equipped with the right knowledge can help us avoid just being another pawn on the global chess board. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this information with friends and family. If you're new to crypto, I have links to the most notable exchanges in the description. Using the links below supports the channel and comes with special bonuses for members of our network. For more information on the new economy, check out the playlist related to this episode on the right and our most recent episode on the left. As always, have a great day, have a prosperous day. Most importantly, we making this money. I'll see y'all in the next one.